Greetings to all. I'm trying my my home webcam on my laptop and uh, seeing how that works here. And what I want to talk about tonight is uh, I want to make this video specifically for my friends on Facebook. And I want to talk about Facebook and the law of attraction. Now, there's two things on Facebook. There's the live feed, which is a moment by moment live feed of what every friend you're connected to on Facebook is doing. Then there's also the news feed. The news feed is a little bit more perplexing. I was very perplexed by this, very fascinated by this this news feed when I first started getting involved with Facebook. You know, how are they determining what I deem to be newsworthy? How are they determining what I deem to be important? And I couldn't figure this out. I couldn't understand this. You know, certain things were coming up. I was like, why is this coming up? Why is that coming up? Why are things that I'm interested in not coming up? So I started to observe and watch and look and listen and I started to figure it out and I started to understand how the news feed works and how it works is the news feed is a perfect lesson and a perfect teacher and instructor in the law of attraction for those who are not familiar with the law of attraction the law of attraction to put in very simple terms states that like attracts like so what you like you get more of and this is fairly simple to understand where it gets even more interesting however is what you don't like you also get more of so really it's not about whether you like something or don't like something it's about whether you're putting your attention on something so what you're putting your attention on you get more of whether you like it or not if you're giving it your attention you get more of it so when it comes to Facebook when you comment on someone's page when you give them the thumbs up on their posts when you email when you comment on photos you get more of that person and if you don't comment on their page, if you don't, if you, then you don't get that person. So, the law of Facebook looks, works like the law of attraction. It assumes if you're not giving the person attention, that they are not newsworthy to you. And if you're giving them your attention, it assumes that you they are newsworthy to you. So, where it becomes really interesting is that if you leave a comment on someone's page on someone's post and you say that was the dumbest stupidest most ignorant thing I've ever read you're gonna get more of that person especially if you put something like that because you see what's really interesting is that the the, the, the intensity of your intention brings you more of the like of the same thing on that vibration so it doesn't really matter whether you like it quote unquote or don't like it quote unquote what matters is the level of your intensity toward that person for example toward that subject for example so if you really hate somebody on Facebook and you're telling them every day you're writing to them you're, you're, you're posting you're, 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 you're commenting about you know you're gonna get so much more of that person and 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 it's there's nothing right or wrong about that necessarily. It's a matter of being aware of how these law, how this, how the, how these, these laws work in the universe and how they work. And Facebook is a great lesson. This now, if you really didn't want someone to be a part of your life, if you felt they were very negative energy, if you felt they were, you know, so forth and so on, then the way to approach it, if you really don't want them to show up in your news feed, the way to approach it is not to comment 
on their page, not to not to visit it, not to reply to things that they post, not to give them your attention is the bottom line. Because what we give our attention to, we get more of. What we give our attention to, it's like a, it's like a, it's like you're putting your attention out to something and it's almost like a, a mirror. It's reflecting back. And it's reflecting back magnified. So this is why I say the most powerful thing, the most important thing that we have is our attention and our awareness. Now that means the level, in other words, the, the degree of our presence in this moment is the fundamental ground for everything else it's like a springboard for everything else in the entire universe the degree that we're present right now is the degree that we're creating our future is the degree that we're creating everything that comes back to us is the degree that everything becomes reflected back to us to the degree of our presence and the degree that we're present is the degree that we can be aware of what we're putting our attention to and what we're putting our attention on and not dwelling on things that are negative and not dwelling on things that we don't like and not dwelling on things that bring uh, that bring unhappiness that bring suffering to us and giving our attention to things that bring a sense of radiance, a sense of joy, a sense of well-being and fulfillment and the more that we give attention to those things the more those things appear in our life and the more it's easier to give attention to them because there's so much more and more and more so really it becomes to just saying yes and just saying yes to life and just saying yes to all of it and saying yes to it over and over and every moment now, 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 here And then when you do that, over time, you'll find on Facebook what's showing up in your news feed is people who are also saying yes to life, yes to this moment, yes, yes, yes. And you, be create, you create a community of yes, family of yes surrounding you, but it starts within it starts with ourselves hope that educates you on on Facebook and how it works and makes your <laughs> your uh, browsing around on there a little bit better if you're not friends with me on there yet I still have some, some space left um, on my personal profile I'm almost at 5,000 which means I have to go to a fan page soon uh, which has already started if you want to join the fan page so anyway, you can find me on Facebook, and I look forward to seeing you there.